Ohio, my name is Feral Child on this board. And 219 and change, nothing to slouch at. On the legendary D7 Intel Battle Cruiser. There she is with her Quonos 1 skin. Alright, let's get into what it took. Covert Phaser Dual Beam Banks. Crit D2, damage 4. When you look at these beams, though, they have a chance to give crit severity and they also lower your threat. So if you're with a team that more or less does the same DPS, these beams will keep the big guys off of you and keep you alive. So we got three of those going on in the front and an Omni in the back. We have the complete Lorca set with what dual wide angle. I almost messed that up. Hey, Dark Matter Torpedo. And we'll just skip down to the console. Which the console is used mainly for that 157 shield penetration. It does have crit chance, weapons power, and the goodies you get is like the 1% crit severity buff for 20 seconds stacked up 25 times. You also get a mystery torpedo that shoots at people at under 50% hull. A colony deflector dish. Prevailing engines. Marsilio harmonic warp core and shield. Tilly shield providing more damage against the enemy shield. And together we get 120 hull regeneration. Then we got the biomolecular phaser turret paired with its console. The hydrodynamic compensator with engine power, aux power, weapon accuracy and flat flight turn rate. We have the inhibiting phaser omnidirectional. Now, if you read or just click the link below so you can go along with it, it leaves a small Cat 1 debuff on the target. Kind of like the Tilly shield when you follow through with your weapons. From the sarcophagus, the multi-targeting tractor beam array that grabs three objects and starts at 353.2 kinetic damage per 05 seconds. And it increases by 20% if it's only grabbing one target. It's a really nice console. The ship is that powerful that I could give up a console slot just to put that on and be unique. We have the biomolecular infusion circuit, hull capacity, control expertise and crit severity. The tachyokinetic converter with its control expertise, flight turn rate, crit chance and crit severity the point defense bombardier with 11 with 25 percent projectile damage one percent directed energy damage point defense bombardier which should need no explanation 11 percent uh resistance rating 19 percent directed energy damage and when they're together they provide 33 percent phaser directed energy damage um, on the Bombardier, I said directed energy damage and 1% crit chance. Phaser, immobilizing lance, 15.8 phaser damage. The immobilizing phaser lance with its 15.6 phaser damage and 43.8 shield penetration. We have four consoles from the Spire for crit chance and phaser. And I have three wasted points here. 
These points, from my understanding nowadays, matter in PvP. I could have put them here. Um, I could have put them in control. But they're where they are. Traits. Yum. Self-modulating fire. Adapted offense. Operative. Superior beam training. Beam barrage. Unconventional systems. Terran targeting system. Duelist forever. A good day to die. An innocuous. Starship traits. Cease of momentum. Best hope of the empire. Emergency weapon cycle. Terran goodbye. Improved photonic officer. The best diplomat. Reputation, advanced targeting systems, enhanced shield penetration, magnified firepower, Omega Gravision amplifier, and enhanced armor penetration. I hope you guys have fun watching this run. Now, the only special thing I did put on here is uh, Narrow Sensor Band 3 for that bonus damage and that's also why the way I flew I had my nose on everything everything else is pretty much standard the only thing I would have wanted at this legendary is a commander tactical but it works and it works well tractor beam one oh yeah I forgot photonic officer so I don't really have a science officer but everything else is pretty much standard. I would have loved to have this as a tactical. But you can't have everything in life, right? Now, roster on the duty officers. Stacking crit chance when firing energy weapon. And then the next two are stacking crit severity. Firing energy weapons. In the science slots, I got two... Reduce time on photonic abilities and they didn't work there, but it usually does. And a nurse for increased hull regeneration. Yo, enjoy this run. It was mad fun. I like the fact that I had a teammate that was doing fire at will that knew to stay back and just take care of the probes and the spheres. Here I'm just going to do a turf spread and get rid of everything. Every little bit of damage helps, right? Now, to be clear, I was debuffing my own targets, so this is not a nanny run. I did it all myself. Up on the screen is my supporter creator code if you launch Star Trek Online through the Epic Game Launcher. Just like that, dashes and all, the channel gets a small kickback. 
If it's your first time here, please subscribe, leave a like, a constructive comment, and follow me over on Twitch where it will always tell you what game I'm playing and what I'm doing.